Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing some more work on the barn that we started last episode. I made one minor change between episodes, and that's that I took these corners and swapped them out for dark oak logs. And I think that makes a big difference, and it looks much better now. But we have some major work to do to the interior of this bad boy. So, let's see. I'm thinking it would be kind of nifty if we were to divide this up like so. Just like this. I wish I had... Hmm. Hmm. I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Let's see. Have I any glowstone? Because I think a couple of glowstone lamps would look absolutely fantastic right there. Let's see. It would be... Hmm. I do have some glowstone. I do not have a great deal of glowstone. Um... Hmm... Well, oh, I've got glowstone right here. I'm just blind. Never mind. I found what I needed. Okay, so let's see if I remember the recipe. I think, if I recall, aha, beautiful. So we would need one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then I would need... Six of those. Okay. Oh, hey. I probably want to take my stuff with me too, eh? Just a thought. Okay. Let's head on back. And I think this is going to work out really well. I think this will look good. And then we can do away with all those really icky, nasty torches. Because torches, you know, as useful as they are, they're just, they don't look all that great. Uh, you can make them look pretty good if you put them in an item frame with some extra dressing and all that kind of stuff. You know, pretty them up a little bit, add some additional detail. But just on their own, they don't look so great. And I, I really don't think they do. Maybe, maybe with like the right texture pack, but then it's the texture pack, not the torches. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know. It's just one of those things. And I don't remember where I heard it. Um, I'm not using any texture pack, uh, other than custom skies. I am using the custom skies texture pack, because, I mean, come on, look at that. How can you not love it? Whew. Anyway, uh, someone, I remember hearing somewhere that if you can make something look good in total vanilla, those are not the same type of wood, are they? I suppose we should probably make those match. Just a thought. So basically, we're putting the redstone torches down here to power these blocks so that when we put said redstone lamp on top, like that, it'll light up. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, anyway, as I was saying, if you can make something look good in vanilla, without a texture pack, and without a shader pack or something like that installed, odds are it's going to look great no matter what you put in it. Whether you're, you know, if you add a texture pack, it's probably still going to look good. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Um, it's kind of part of my reasoning for not using a texture pack for most of my series. I know some people love them. Some people, on the other hand, hate them. It really, it's really just personal preference. Let's do a little bit of this action. And... How do we want to divide this up? Do we want to use this space over here? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think maybe what we'll do... Yeah, let's let's use this space. So we're gonna have gates 
here, 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 and here. Then I'm going to take this out. We're going to put some windows in. Just little, little slits more than anything else. Nothing, nothing going to be, it, it won't be anything, you know, super incredibly crazy. Um, but the thing you got to realize is if we don't do something with this wall, it's going to look like that. And that is very plain. That is very dry and very boring and very not exciting. So we're going to fix that up a little bit. Um, I think we need 16. If I can do math. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Good, good. So we'll do something. Something along these lines right here. How's that look? Significantly more interesting than it did. I'm still thinking maybe we want to get rid of the these. Hmm. Maybe we want to put those ones back. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we put some fences in the windows. Maybe some spruce fences in the windows. Let's give that a try. How's that look? Uh, not too shabby. I like it. I like it. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. So, we've got that figured out. And we will need... Uh, one will cover six windows. Let's see. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so we need 12 fences. 12 spruce fences, anyway. There we go. Looking good. And I'm also going to need uh, considerably more stairs. There we go. And then I know that I'm going to need several gates as well. So we'll need one, two, three, four, five, six gates. There we go. Because the gates, of course, are going to go right in here. Although we could maybe... Hmm, no, I think we'll stick with that. That's good. That'll do. Okay, so let's take these walls out to do the same thing. Just like this. Looking good. Looking good, okay. And then we'll put our oak stairs into the windows like so. Beautiful. Uh, I, I see you trapped back there. Don't worry, I'll come for you in a moment. Okay. Oh, hey! That's not supposed to go there. There we go. Let's put our fences in the windows where they belong for that detail that we want so badly. There. Ah. Ha 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 ha, it's starting. It is starting to look like a barn. Really starting to come together. I like it quite a lot. Now, this. What to do with this? Well, I have an idea. I also think we could maybe do something with this. Possibly. I want to experiment. So we're going to give this a try. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. How's that look? Mm. Yeah, I think we'll keep it. I think we'll keep it. And then that means over here, we can do the same thing. Oh, hey you. No. Don't, you don't go there. You go over here. There we go. And you... Things are falling. Things are falling. Falling down. Okay, put that where it belongs. Mm, crafting table over here. A spruce door or four. And the yeah. Okay. 
So, we've got that going for us. Let's take a look upstairs. What do we need up here? Well, we definitely need lights up here, I can tell you that right now. Oof. Yeah, that's definitely something that we need. Without a doubt. Question, are these... Yeah, that's something I can't break. Okay. Of course, I did break it. Against my better judgment. But... Hmm. How can we do... I suppose we could do torches upstairs. That wouldn't necessarily be a horrible bad thing. Especially if we dressed it up a bit. How many... Hmm, okay. Let's do this. Let's put some stairs down here, just to give this a little bit... A little bit more of a gradual slope. Make it less, uh intrusive, if you will. We'll just bring A now. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not too bad. That looks pretty good. I really, I, I genuinely like that quite a lot. Okay. Now. Fences. Dark oak, I think, again, is the obvious choice. So, let's make... Uh, six should be plenty. We don't need a lot of them. But what we're going to do is we're just going to use a very simple little trick for torches. We'll just do something along those lines. Yeah, actually... I don't know that I like that as much as I thought I was going to like that. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I care for that. Maybe... Hmm. I don't like that either. What can we do up here for lighting? We can't take out any of the floor. I mean, I suppose we could just kind of do something like this, maybe? Let's see how dark it gets in here. Hmm, that is definitely dark enough for nasty things to spawn. Which I don't care for. I'd prefer to have some lighting going, but I don't know how I could hide it. Hmm. I think this will work for now, though. I mean, ultimately, this barn is all about storing food and animals and stuff. It's not so much... I mean, it's it's that it needs to serve a purpose. Sheep! You can be my first... You can be my first captured... animal. Get... Get into the thing. No! No, into the thing! Ha-ha! Hello, sheep. Goodbye, sheep. Alright, so... Next step. We need to get ourselves some animals. Oh, that's a creeper! Bo, 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 bo. Got it. Oh, looks like the flame on the sword took care of it for me, which is good. That's what I wanted anyway. Okay. I see you. Get wrecked. That's a bunny. I thought that was a, a nasty, cr crazy, scary thing, but it was actually just a rabbit. So, yeah, I guess I'm scared of rabbits now. Anyway, moving on. Hmm. So, animals. We need animals to fill our barn. That's very important. We do have some wheat. We don't need a lot. I mean, I suppose I can just lure the animals to me using the power of wheat. And I'd like to get a couple of cows and a couple of sheep and uh, put them in the barn. I think that's the best thing to do. One, two, and three. What? Hey! Baby zombie! There are nasty things. Anywhere and everywhere. Come on, sheep. To the barn. You must breed and be fed. I need you. Come to me. 
Come on, sheepy. Come on, sheepy. Into the barn. Did I get too far away? Or are you just not smart enough to come through the door? I have a feeling that it's the latter of the two. Yep, it is most certainly the latter of the two. Okay, sheepy. Come inside. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I have faith. My faith is declining. Seriously, sheep, come on. Come get the wheat. Let's try this again. Really, sheep? Really? Tell you what, sheepy. I'll make you a special offer. I will push you in. And then... I will even shut the door behind you, so as to keep you in here forever. <sighs> Alright, let's go find some cows. I want to fill the barn. I, those animals are not really in there to be bred, per se. They're in there more for aesthetic reasons than anything else. So if I can get, you know, a couple of cows, maybe like, one, even if it's just one cow, I'd be happy with that. Two cows would be ideal. But at least one. Because no barn is complete without a cow. And then upstairs, in the loft of the barn, is where we'll hide all the food and the, the harvested wheat, potatoes, carrots, all that kind of stuff. More sheep. Hello, sheepies. Hmm. I'm noticing a distinct lack of animals of the bovine variety. Hmm. Here, cows. Hiding down here? No. There is a possibility that I may have slain all of my cows. Which would be extremely unfortunate, because that would mean... That would mean a very long and not exciting walk, hauling them through the nether. I have cows at my other base. But, uh... Hmm... I don't know. Tell you what, I'm going to take a short... Oh, oh, nope, that's more sheep. I was all excited. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing any cows. Maybe I'll deal with that off camera. I think that's what we'll do. I was hoping to find some. I thought I remembered them being around here and fairly close, but I haven't seen any now for a little while, so... Maybe, uh, maybe I killed them and forgot about it, or I don't know. Either way, we do need more farms than just this. That much is absolutely clear. And I don't know that I want to have this whole thing divided up. Um, I know that I don't want the farms to be, you know, perfect, stereotypical Minecraft 9x9 nine nine farms that are perfect and symmetrical and that's not what I want here. I'm I'm looking for something that's a bit more um a bit more wild, shall we say. You know, we want to kind of kind of keep it looking a little I mean, I still want them organized, but I don't want the, you know, the the square 9x9 nine nine farm that everyone builds and that works amazingly well, admittedly. It's a great farm, but it's not what I'm looking for here. I am. I, it would be nice, though, if I could get a farm that didn't involve me falling into water. That would be ideal. Uh, I do want to start growing these spuds quickly. And I would also like to start growing more wheat because that is, of course, needed as well. Um, I see we are in need of more water. Mm hmm. We can do that. Hello, water. I will take you now. There we go. That should keep everything here relatively hydrated, I would think. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and plant our fields. Is it perfect? No. Eventually, what I'm envisioning is basically this whole 
little area just covered in wheat and potatoes and carrots and growing vegetables and things. Uh, however, we don't have the resources to plant that much stuff just yet. So for now, this will have to make do. We'll have to make do with this. And I'm okay with that. That's fine. That is perfectly fine with me. We'll just plant that, let it grow, let it harvest. Uh, we'll harvest as harvest harvest to have. Uh, we will harvest it as we go, and as it grows, I think we're good. Yeah, I think I'm satisfied with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.